All right, guys, we're back again. Um, removed all the uh, rocker bolts from the assembly. Still keeping them in order, obviously. Now, I don't want to put a ton of time and effort into cleaning these by hand um, because they are definitely nasty. Um, again, it's a higher mileage engine to begin with. Um, and the maintenance probably wasn't that great, even though it did have really good oil pressure. So what we're going to do is we're just going to toss these guys into our parts cleaner. Gather everything up over here. And lo and behold, I actually did find my other brass brush. Um, I cleaned these up. I've got a screwdriver in there as well. I've got some epoxy paint from another project. Coated that. So we're going to take our favorite degreaser. Kind of spray it in there. Now with this one, you cannot overload it. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Anyway, just use basically your favorite degreaser, and it has these beads. Um, these are hard; they're not like ceramic. Um, but I've had these just as long as I've actually had the uh, machine itself. So they've lasted a long, long time. They've cleaned a lot of different components over the last decade. So for the most part, uh, when I'm done with a project and cleaning parts, nuts, bolts, and small components, um, I'll just take some uh, water, empty, kind of swish it around, almost like you're panning for gold, and then I'll uh, dispose of the uh, the old oil or you know leftover remnants. Um, accordingly, you know, don't dump it down the drain or outside or anything else like that. Try to be, I guess, responsible to a certain extent. So let's go ahead and close this guy up. And it's not too terribly loud. Um, one thing I probably might do is might actually take this wing nut with that all thread and cut it down one day, but it's not really on the priority list. need to get crazy tight with it. No gorilla maintenance. Yeah, that's good. Basically just wanted the seat. Um, with heavier parts there have been times that this thing will actually start to vibrate off but since we don't have a lot of weight in there right now we're pretty safe. Um, I actually did have this thing fall off of a workbench uh, many years ago. It spilt all over the place and yeah I was on the other side of an, another shop and uh, couldn't get to it in time, so we had a mess everywhere. So that was a fun day of cleaning. But anyway, go ahead and run this, let it run probably about an hour, and then uh, see what we come up with.